Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are making cake pops. Yay! And Lola is gonna help me in the kitchen, so we'll see how she does. We're gonna be starting with the cake because we have to let that bake, dry, and then crumble it to make the cake pops to form them. So we're gonna be starting with that. We've got our chocolate cake cake mix. We've got our vegetable oil and our eggs. So let's get busy. Mix, 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 and we mix, 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 and we mix, mix, mix it all together. <laughs> Do you want to mix? Oh, yeah. Good job. Excellent. All right. Now, what does it say? Gotta put it in a baking dish. We're gonna pour it. Ready? Okay, we have our oven preheating to 350 and now we're gonna pop it in there for 30 minutes. We are back, the cake is baked, we have put it in this big bowl here. Now we need to crumble it to get it into really small pieces and then we will mix the contents of the inside of the cake balls together. So let's crumble. We're gonna crumble, 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 crumble. We don't want any big pieces, Lola. No big pieces. taste test. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Now that we have no big pieces, we actually are gonna put this entire 16 ounce jar of vanilla frosting in, and then we're gonna do two teaspoons of peppermint extract. So let's do that. Is it good? You just do your taste testing now. <laughs> okay, ready? Push it all together with clean hands. Ooh. Ooh. Now that we have mixed all those ingredients together, we are going to form little balls and put them onto a cookie sheet that has parchment paper on it already or wax paper, whatever, and we're gonna roll them into little balls. And then once we have them all into little balls, we are going to put them in the refrigerator to form a little bit. So let's get our sheet. We've got our cake balls rolled out and we're gonna put them in the fridge for an hour to cool so that they can form. And then we're gonna dip them. <laughs> okay guys, my co-baker had to take a nap, so I'm gonna do this part solo, which is actually probably for the best <laughs> since she's so young. But uh, my little cake pop balls have been in the fridge for a little over an hour, so they're kind of more formed and they'll be easier to dip. And then I have melted some almond bark here. So this is vanilla almond bark. I'm going to go ahead and dip my cake balls into the almond bark. And then I've got some sprinkles here that I'm gonna sprinkle on them. So we will see how this goes. I did not buy any cake pop sticks. So I'm gonna be doing these as little like balls that you bite into without the stick. So we will see how messy this is. It'll taste good no matter what. Got a 
lot more to do, so let's get going. <laughs> I have all of my cake pops done, cake balls, what have you. Uh, they are all dipped and they are all coated in the sprinkles. So I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit and they're gonna harden and then I'll try one. We've got our cake pops, no sticks, but they're little cake balls and I'm gonna be giving these away to some of my neighbors just to say thank you for being such wonderful neighbors. And I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try this one. Let's see how good it is. Oh my gosh. It's so good. There's peppermint extract in the cake part. So it's just so Christmassy and so tasty. Lola's gonna love this. When she gets up, she's gonna be so excited about these cake pops to taste them. But this was a really fun recipe. It is a little tedious. So I suggest if you guys are making it, probably wait to make it until you have a little bit of older kids or you have some free time to do it on your own. But it was super fun and this is super tasty. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.